Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is minimum moves to equal array elements 2. Given an array integer nums of size n, return the minimum number of moves required to make all array elements equal. In one move, you can increment or decrement an element of the array by 1. We had a list of numbers 1, 2, 3. We know that to make them all equal, the minimum number uh, just intuitively would be to add 1 to 1 and then subtract 1 from 3 and make them all 2s. If we decided to make them all 1s, you can see that if we minus 1 here and then we have to mi minus 2 here, so that'd be like 3. So just intuitively, we can kind of imagine that we want to uh, make the values something in the middle. So if we had like 1, 2, 3, uh, say that we increment our first digit up by one that basically means at the end if for the larger numbers we need to decrement uh, one less because we've already incremented one from the one up front so at first I thought maybe you just take the mean of this entire value and then uh, round that up down to the closest integer and then uh, select calculate the difference for every number with that integer. But the reason that doesn't work is if we got the, got the mean, like say we had something like this, you can see that if I got the mean here, uh, say it's like 1, 1, 12, the mean actually ends up becoming like 4, right? And we can kind of see already if we did 4, we'd have to increment 3, 3, and then 6. So that's going to be 12 moves. But if we selected 1 instead, that would just mean 9 moves. We just need to subtract this by 9. So instead of the mean, what other value can we use? And kind of immediately you might be thinking, oh, what, what, what about the median? Like the value right smack in the middle. So yeah, that, that seems to work. If we um, sort our array and get the one in the middle that we think uh, would be the best to select, that would allow us to, um, if we increment like the first one, we sh should need to not decrement as much for the ones that are greater than that median. Now, what happens if we have an even number of values, like something like this, like what value should we select in, in between these two? Uh, well, luckily, it actually doesn't matter. We can select this one or this one, but the differences between like the ones in the middle, uh, whatever we select, it's going to actually end up becoming the same because if we want to increase to this equal 10, that's going to be 9. If we want to decrease to this equal to 1, that's not going to be 9 as well. So either way works, if, and you can test that out to see that the number of moves actually ends up becoming the same. So uh, let's see. There's kind of three steps here. We want to first sort our nums, sort nums. Then we want to select the median. And then we want to take the sum of absolute differences from the median with each number, right? So let's start with that. Let's say we want a nums sort, and then we're going to uh, get the length of our nums, and we'll select our target, which is going to be median. So that would just be nums n divided by 2. Now finally, we just need to return the sum of 4n in nums, get the absolute difference between target and n. So let's just see if this works first. Let me delete these comments. And that looks like it's working, so let's go ahead and submit. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is going to be n log n because of this sorting. And we use constant space. Uh, now, if you want to simplify even further, you could just use a function to say target equals uh, math median of nums. And this would actually work as well. You just need to reconvert this back into a int because median actually returns as a float. So uh, this would also work, but this could be considered cheating if you're using functions. So time complexity would still be the same. OK, uh, it's a pretty simple problem, uh, but yeah, I think it's easily one of those problems that can confuse you, especially if you start thinking, oh, I, I guess I need to do this recursively or something, and you could really lead you down, down bad paths. So 
Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.